Hello and welcome back to Black Mirror 2. Did I say you'd hear from me again? So, last time we left off here, I don't think we can do anything in the crypt anymore. Because I don't have what I need. We need to chop down these trees because they're still interactable. Can I go back? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> That's what it was. How do I get back? Luckily, it's seen otherwise I would have sunk. Luckily, otherwise I would Oh. Because I don't think we can do anything else, right? We've got that, but... You know, that's just to the back. We we can't interact with anything. We can interact with the water faucet, which I assume has something to do with the garden hose, but the garden hall is the rip. Oh, now I can see the boy. Hi there. Hello. Oh, hello. That's a nice hatchet you got there. Found it. Do you think I could borrow it? A vampire hunter never puts his weapon down. I see. Do you never have a break from being a vampire hunter? What else can I play? All my toys are inside. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Uh... Hey, look. Oh, my car. Now we can get the hatchet, which we can use to cut down the trees and hopefully do something. Hey, buddy, um, I've got to get going, okay? Of course. He didn't give us... I don't know. Oh, there it is. The little guy's hatchet. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so small. Can I just borrow the hatchet? Yeah, of course. Okay, we've got a hatchet. I'm assuming we can do that, use that on the trees. Why didn't we go this way before? Did you just not see it? <laughs> okay, so hatchet on trees, hopefully. Yeah, okay. This'll take a while. The axe is real blunt. Later. Okay, I felled the trees and trimmed the trunks for a good one and a half yards. The tree trunks are about an arm's thickness and pretty long. Okay, can we use rope on them? Yeah! Now, how does that go? You can somehow rig up a tripod out of three pieces of wood. So, and then like so. Yep, exactly. And now, one tripod. This has to be erected now. I'll position it as well as I can over the sarcophagus. Okay. We've got our crane now. We good? I'll hang the pulley on the rope. I'll try to get as much of the rope as I can. It's a miracle. Okay, can we... The length just makes it. There we go. I hope it's gonna hold. Me too. I don't need to get sliced in half again. What have we got here? Steps leading down. The 
gap is big enough to squeeze through. I only hope that my rig up doesn't collapse as soon as I'm in. Wait, but it's the other side that has it, right? Maybe this is a different one? Oh, it's a secret entrance into the summer house. this then looks like the inside of a tower there's some kind of crater in the floor looks like something's exploded here yeah we got the table the shelves <laughs> it looks like interesting attention to detail there's no charring in the rubble an explosion which caused this kind of damage in a closed space so Richard wouldn't have stood a chance. Oh, it wasn't our fault. He died later on, two years afterwards. The safe survived the explosion undamaged, I'd say. These burns may have well come from a welding set. The kid reckoned that Angelina looked real pleased with herself. Somehow she must have got the safe open. Now what have we got here? A combination lock. But not with numbers, with letters. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we don't know the combination. Sheesh. Yeah. To the crypt. Chains. Chains, wrought iron rings, crudely hewn stones. Not exactly what you'd call modern craftsmanship. Rather more like a Frankenstein movie. Okay. Folder. There's paper lying everywhere. Most of it's soaked through from rainwater. Maybe there's something good? Huh. Here's a folder. Oh, it's only wet on one corner. Newspaper cuttings. Hmm. From 1981. Twelve years ago, William Gordon in fatal accident, Willow Creek. William Gordon fell on Tuesday from his studio in the tower of his home due to unknown causes. Blah, blah, blah. William Gordon, suicide. As the police today announced, we are now dealing with the fall of the master of Blackmere Castle close by the village of Willow Creek. In all probability, a suicide. Here's another piece a week later. Grim serial murders in Willow Creek. Blah, blah, blah. Latest victim of Bloody Trail, Vic Valley, just 12 years old. According to police sources, his body was found next to a stone circle in the woods. The condition of the corpse gives reason to suspect a ritual killing. Another two weeks later. Main suspect in Willow Creek murders identified. As Scotland Yard has announced, it has been established that at three of the murder scenes, there are signs which suggest the involvement of Samuel Gordon, the grandson of William Gordon, who was killed last month. Samuel Gordon was found dead two weeks ago at the foot of one of the towers of Blackmere Castle. Apparently, the yeah. tower from which his grandfather had previously... Reports about the murder fest in Willow Creek 12 years ago. No wonder that Sir Richard was interested in it. William was his brother. Okay. Poster. The poster survived the explosion relatively undamaged. It was probably hit squarely by the pressure wave and then pressed against the wall. Hmm. Here's a table showing the occurrences of blood groups. A B B A O. Here's a table. Oh, A B B A O.
It was B, right? Yeah! Oh, that wasn't too bad. for something? Or does she want to stop it getting into other people's hands? Uh, whatever it is, I can't trust her anymore. She's in this thing somehow and she's lied to me. I ought to drive back to Willow Creek. Maybe she's turned up there in the meantime. And then, then we'll see. There's nothing else in it apart from the blood cells. Okay. And I know what I had to know. Angelina was after the Gordon's blood. The question is, why? And what have I got to do with it? I can't get through there. The passage has collapsed a few yards in. Whoa, hey! A welding torch! Angelina was using some heavy gear. But it doesn't look like it's been used. The safe wasn't cut open. Looks like it's it. I mean, we can leave now. Tear. I just wanted to check everything and make the sure there's no goes items. Back to the explosion, or appeared later. I don't know. Whichever the case, doesn't look good. Logic tells me that the tower has been standing like this for years, and so the chances are pretty damn slim that it's all of a sudden gonna collapse this minute, just while I'm here. But my gut tells me that I shouldn't stay here any longer than I absolutely need to. Whoa, you've been in the crypt? Are there <laughs> coffins in there? Yeah, but no vampires. Shame. Well, what is it then? A car! The other man's back! The other kidnapper? Huh. Uh, thanks for the warning. Okay, run home and, and tell your parents they should call the police, okay? <laughs> I've got to be careful. Tom won't be too happy that I've disappeared. Oh, okay, I see. Wait a minute. Welding set. We can still use it. Can we use it for something? I was kind of hoping we could because what I assume is we're trying to make this marshy and then get Tom to chase us. Huh. A hook. It still looks pretty sound despite the rust. I could use the hook to fasten it. Oh. Wow, are there multiple ways to solve these puzzles? Uh, it's damn well fixed. I'm not gonna get it out with my bare hands. I'll try to loosen the hook using the hatchet. But we don't need it anymore.
This lamp definitely hasn't worked for eons. And for sure is never going to again. Wrecked. Like everything here. I don't care what's happened to your head, you useless pisswit. Make sure you get the old cow on the phone. I'll look for that bastard. I'm never gonna get to the car. Tom would see me and I think I've seen a weapon. Looks like there are two options. I can wait here for the police, and then explain to them for hours on end what's going on here. Or, I can lay a trap for Tom and then steal his car. The hose has had it. The piece with the rip can't be repaired. Oh! I'll cut that bit out. I didn't know, okay. Okay. Now I've got two halfway usable hose ends. I had to cut the hose into two. If I want to have a long hose again, then I'm going to have to somehow connect up the two pieces. Ah, okay. Now we can use the welding set. Okay, I didn't know I needed to use the hatchet for that. Awesome. Oh, if only I didn't have to go through this animation. Okay. Come on. Come on. Please and thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No idea how that's supposed to go. What? No idea how that works. Wait, what? I can 100% use it. No idea how that's... I had to cut the hose if I want to have a... Um, well, I had some progress. Why should I still take the risk now? <laughs> the lid has partly fallen in. Obviously, a one. I had to cut the hose if I want to have a long hose again. An old, but apparently the hatchet is old and pretty rough. It's a miracle that so much of the house is still standing. After the tree smashed into it. Nothing interesting to see. The roof has caved in and buried the room below it. No chance. So, we did this. Am I supposed to go back now? Can I go back and now do it? I mean, it's obviously supposed to be used, so why is it saying that?
checking that I have not missed any other items. No. No idea how that's supposed to go. No idea. Box. Oh, 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 oh! A piece of plastic tube. Okay, I'll stick it in. Rather light. The walls of the pipe are thin. Ah, okay. Part of a ventilation system or something. Yeah, great. The tube fits exactly if I heat it up first. Oh, okay. There we go. That works. If I heat up the plastic tube, it'll expand. Then the ends of the hose will fit into the tube. Do, 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 do. I think that'll do. It fits. Just wait a bit while it cools down. Okay. Done. It's a pretty close fit on the hose. No more water's getting out of there. Cool. When the water flows through it, that'll cool the tube down completely. Cool beans. Now we've got what we need. Happy days. Happy days. Come on. Come on. Boing. It's on. Yeah, uh, okay. And voila. is in position. Goody. Okay. At least our inventory is keeping smallish. <laughs> okay, okay, now turn on. Good. Let's put the whole swamp underwater. Later. That ought to do it. Okay. Let's hope everything works as planned. Hey! Tom! Do 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 do! Stay where oh, you God. are! Oh, God! Don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> and I'd bet that'd be the highlight of your last five minutes on Earth. Tom. Get me out of here! Huh. Why should I? Weren't you gonna shoot me just now? I wanna get out of here! Then throw your weapon into the swamp and give me your car keys. I... I'll... You'll what? Die in utter misery. There. Now get me out of here. Not so fast. <laughs> What's going on with Angelina? Is she involved with all this? I've already told you. I don't know any Angelina. Tja. I'm inclined to doubt that. She was only in the village a few days ago. Then I didn't see her. You would certainly have noticed her. One more time. I don't know any Angelina, and there was nobody sniffing around the village either. Except you. Okay? Throw me a bloody rope, will you? Or something or other. Who ordered you to kidnap me? You're supposed to 
Pull me out of this! Was it this secret society? I don't know anything about a secret society. The Order. That means nothing to you? Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to find you, knock you out, and bring you here. And then? She was going to call me on the phone and give me further she. instructions. She? A woman. Sounded quite old. No idea who she is. And she didn't want me staying in Willow Creek? Yeah. I was supposed to bring you ah. here as soon as possible. Do you know who belongs to the Order? No idea. I've only ever seen these nutters over by the mine. They were wearing masks. I don't know who they all were. All right, then. I'm gone. The police will be here soon. Get me out of here! <laughs> Why? Do you seriously believe you're going to be sucked to the bottom? Idiot. So she was old, so it has to be either Eleanor or Victoria. Right? And maybe they wanted us to keep us away because of what happens every 12 years. Excuse me, sir. There's been a letter delivered for you. Who delivered it? I don't know. It was in the hotel's post box. But there's no stamp on it, so it must have been delivered personally. Oh. Thanks. Hey, it's from Angelina. Yeah. Dear Darren. I haven't been completely honest with you. Oh, no shit. I've been concerned with Willow Creek and Black Mirror for some time. And it was you I was looking for in Biddeford. I stumbled upon something there that I don't want to write about here. I can only tell you this much. You are in danger. There's a group of people who are out to kill you. They were already after you in Maine. They caught me here in Willow Creek. I managed to escape and I've been hiding in a safe place since then. I found out today that you are here. I'll explain everything to you and hope that you will forgive me. No, I know that you'll forgive me when you know the dreadful truth. Come to the old lighthouse tonight at 11 o'clock. Make sure that no one follows you. I'll explain everything to you there. Together we can put an end to this whole thing. Take care of yourself and trust no one. You don't know who might belong to the Order. Angelina. Yeah, not suspicious. Angelina's alive. That's the good news. But what kind of a game is she playing? Can I trust her? She lied to me. She knew about this place the whole time. <laughs> and I'm sure she wasn't unfamiliar with Reginald Boris either. The question is, what side is she on? What's she up to? Either way, I'm gonna find out this evening at the lighthouse. But I should take some precautions. The only place where I'll get a few honest answers is in the Chronicle of the Gordons. Once I know which role the Order plays, perhaps I can deduce what game Angelina's playing. I've got to find a way to read the Chronicle in the museum. So, Reginald Boris was supposed to be a private detective. He was communicating to someone saying she was safe. So either Victor... Angelina killed Reginald Boris, who was working for Victoria or Eleanor, who was trying to find us. Well, they're not going to be here. Nothing new to look at, so yeah. Hi, tourist. Uh, I wouldn't. Huh. Uh. Bobby's gone. 
not gonna get my hands on the book as long as these tourists are around. Perhaps I could hide and wait until the museum closes. Uh... Great place to hide. Huh. <laughs> so I've just gotta wait. The museum closes in an hour. But we'll be locked in the whole night. <sighs> Hard to believe that I really did fall asleep. But it's only just after nine, and I've got enough time to have a look at the Chronicle and then go to the lighthouse. It's damn dark here. Good that at least a few lights are left on overnight. Okay. It's open. And therefore, our brotherhood should operate. It shall serve our great for if no. Therefore, my brothers, the members of that order, no, be wary. Ah, uh, okay, so we can... Let's have a look then. This is where the part about the Order seems to begin. Only the brave actions of this valiant man preserved us from Mordred. It is to him, Father Matthias, that we owe for our life and freedom. Let his name not be forgotten, no less his doings, which we carry with us in our hearts. But never more shall the destiny of our community lie on the shoulders of one man alone. A man who may not possess the strength of Father Matthias and cannot withstand the powers of evil as he did. Therefore, a secret society shall be founded. The most decent and brave men of our community shall belong to it. They shall guard the academy and the key, the sacrifice room and the scriptures. They shall be the very men that stand between the world and the abyss. They shall pass their knowledge of Mordred and his dark forces from generation to generation. They shall be the descendants of Father Matthias in both spirit and action. For he gave himself for the well-being of us all. Does that mean the Order want to prevent Mordred from gaining power again? A hundred-year-old crazy ass. <sighs> crazy. But, assuming the people in the Order really believe in it, then why are they after me? <sighs> I don't intend to bring Mordred or any other bad spirits back into the world. And even if, how could I? These guys are completely nuts. People have been murdered here because of this, this ghost story. And Angelina, does she believe in this? Oh, time that I ask her just that. We're gonna meet at the lighthouse soon. But we can't leave. The door, will be, the door will be locked. And I guess it's also alarmed. I have to find myself another way out of here. What about the window? The windows are closed off with heavy shutters. And they're probably alarmed. I'll not get out of there unnoticed. Oh, a trash bucket. Huh. Hardly anything in it. Oddly surprising, considering how little seems to go on here. Huh. I can see a tissue, some pieces of paper, and a chewing gum wrapper. Yum. Chewing gum, wrapped in aluminum foil. I just need a paper clip and then I can build an atomic bomb. Actually... An old piece of chewing gum. Wooden plate. A run-of-the-mill wooden board. It's part of the sewing machine. I'm sure no one will notice if this piece of wood goes missing. Okay. okay. An absolutely ordinary slab of wood. Still the same weird shredding machine as yesterday. So we've got the this. Same weird the window seems to be my only possibility to escape. I'm 
Unfortunately, it's a little high up. Ah! The shred is covered. Two metal strips. Yeah. One on the wall and one on the window. That's got to be a pretty simple alarm. As soon as you open the window, the contact is broken and the alarm is triggered. Then just use that. The same movies on educational. <laughs> that should be enough. The electricity will be conducted through the aluminum foil, even when the windows open. <laughs> That went well. I should probably, uh... Satan! Not again. <laughs> From days done by till days be done. The same befalls each golden sun. A silent shadow hanging long. Gripping terror doth grow and grow. Never cast into the light. Never is an end in sight. Oh, the paper. What? What did you say? Where do you know this poem from? The spirits of the forest whispered it to me. Spirits of the forest? What's all that garbage? Ghosts in robes. They've got horrible white faces. In the forest, near the haunted mark. Hey, wait! Do you belong to the Order? Hello? <sighs> that was the poem that Reginald Boris had on him. He probably belongs to the Order. And the bum said he heard the poem near the mine. I should go and have a look around there before I go and meet Angelina. So he was part of the Order? Yeah, so if he was looking after Angelina, probably nothing good. So it's here. Once I opened the grave and the boy wasn't in it, I knew this would happen. But he was so far away. Isn't it possible that the curse hadn't taken control of him? She sees it differently. Otherwise, she wouldn't have tried to keep him captive. Psst. She's coming. Ah, Miss Valley. In the mine today, due to the weather. Is that okay with you? It makes no difference. I should have guessed. Miss Valley's behind all this. She's Little Vic's sister. She's been really involved in the whole thing. And of course, being a librarian, she knew the Order's history. She must have convinced a few people from the village to get involved. Then, for whatever reason, they've targeted me. And this Miss Valley will stop at nothing. I'm sure of that. Was Angelina in her way? I... I gotta find out.
What does this mean? Why are we having this meeting? Is it something new for Reginald? What about the girl? Is she really here again? Have you heard anything from Wales? There's some bad news. Brother Reginald is dead. What the bloody hell did you yeah. just say? Oh my god. But this is not the time for mourning. The girl is still snooping around here, and what's worse, he has escaped. How? What are we gonna do if he finds out? Silence. The danger is near. Very near. Both the girl and our American friend could destroy everything we've created over the last few years. I'm afraid we're forced into taking drastic measures. Ah, uh, but we can't. We've got no other choice. I better get out of here. What was that? Someone there. It's him! Stop Damn the door! It. It's all the right. door! We're Don't let him escape! You. <laughs> You've got no chance. I said stop him. Don't let him escape. Yeah, they haven't hurt us at all. Oh, damn. Open the door. You mustn't escape. I'm out of here. I almost there he is! Come on, hurry up! We're sorry, Darren, but we can't allow it. Oh, no! Oh, that's... Crap! Okay, well, I'm going to end the part here. You shall hear from me in the next part.